it's Tom Halliwell here in the Tattoo Studio in Argentina, Buenos Aires. Getting another rockstar tattoo, that's what life's about. Don't think about it, just do it. This is a real rockstar tattoo, so we're halfway down and we got the lines. I wonder what's gonna come out of it. And I've still got the creepy girl behind me. She's literally following me everywhere. Yeah, 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 she's she's just... yeah, she's... Yeah, she's... Yeah, she's... Crazy man I am. Crazy man. This is my tattoo artist. <laughs> yeah. Well done. You too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Two weeks later, here in Buenos Aires, my new tattoo is all healed up and I'm staying at this very rock and roll, dodgy looking apartment, little guitar there. But the point of this video is not to show you my dirty, grungy rock and roll apartment or to show you my new tattoo. The point of this video is to give you the permission to actually become a guitarist and to stop all the fins in getting in the way of that. We as rock guitarists are not here to work normal, boring, stable, nine to five, brain deadening jobs. All right, we are rock guitarists, we are adventurous, we are nomadic, we, uh, yes, we're not stable, we don't have the stable income, but yet countless times I've met a lot of guitarists who almost prioritize stability and stable incomes more than becoming a rock star and living the the traveling nomadic gypsy uh, life and it puzzles me because the nature of a rock guitarist is not to flip burgers for mcdonald's or to sit in that office uh, on the computer we we should be out there performing making people happy giving people uh making people's day giving them that energy that rock and roll energy um, so stability is never a priority of a guitarist. My income is always like this. Always. And most guitarists, that's how it will be. Um, okay, sure. There are guys like Ed Sheeran, okay? who started off as that unstable guitarist performing on streets. Um, he wasn't flipping burgers at McDonald's or, you know, working his little office job. He was out on the streets performing, uh, being a musician, being a guitarist, being a rebel, yeah? And sure, he got famous because he's extremely talented. And um, now he's got a quote-unquote stable income. However, I'm sure if he never got famous, I'm sure Ed Sheeran would still be out on those streets playing with no money. He would still be happy doing that. And that's what every guitarist should be doing. You know, you don't need to be famous to live the rock star life. I've been living the rock star life for about two years now, traveling, uh, being adventurous, going on crazy adventures all over the world. Um, my money's never been that great. I mean, I've never had more than 1,200 pounds at once, okay? But my lifestyle I love and the fact that I can earn money wherever I am in the world is amazing. And no, this is not a video to sell you a course. I'm not asking you to put your credit card details down below or any of that. No, no, no. I'm just saying that I've met so many guitarists who care so much about stability, care so much about doing the right thing, uh, you know, fitting into society. Guitarists are not meant to fit into society. We are meant to rebel against society. 
okay we're not meant to have stable incomes it's just crazy to think you know uh, I met some amazing guitarists before who they can't earn a living from guitar because they care too much about you know their stable income coming into their their, their bank account and their mortgage and all that stuff dude if you're a rock guitarist and you want to live the rock and roll lifestyle you need to forget about stability that's what I'm saying now if you are if you can perform to a high standard or play guitar to a high standard um, there is just no reason why you should be stuck in a dead end nine to five clocking in and out boring office job there's just no reason you should be even there you should be earning your money from guitar mm -hmm.